Hi, this is Ryan Oakley here from WeddingPhotographyGig.com, and this is the uh, the professional wedding photography website tutorial. Uh, and we're on step four here. So step four is going to be all about customizing the look and feel of your site. Now, if you followed along with us and got up to uh, to this point, you will have uh, uploaded a few galleries in your uh, client category. And uh, you probably have your have had your site for I don't know maybe you've had it for an hour or a day or a week and you've probably looked at this site and gone wow this is this is not exactly the kind of professional site I want to give to my clients um, this is the uh, this is what things look like from an owner when you're signed in and you can go to visitors view and it's not that much more pretty and inviting. Now you can buy photos and share photos and photos look great and stuff but just the look and feel of the site is not very good. It's branded with Smug Mug and uh, nothing that says anything about you. So uh, we're gonna go ahead go back to the owner view and uh, just as this tutorial promised I'm going to be creating you a site that looks like this. So we're gonna do uh, uh, some of that work today. We'll see how far we can get in this uh, tutorial here before we have to move on. So going back to our site, what I want you to do is I want you to go to Tools on the home page and go to Easy Customizer. And that's where we're going to do the bulk of our customizing. So once you get into this Easy Customizer, uh, you get a little preview screen here. And then on the right, you've got a bunch of different uh, options that we're going to play around with. So I'm going to go fairly quick. There's a lot of things that, uh, a lot of different options similar to the client uh, or gallery settings. Um, so, if you need uh, help for anything, you can uh, go to this help section here and Smug Mug or this help link. And Smug Mug uh, has a bunch of information on the Easy Customizer and all these different options. But I highly recommend you just follow along for now because uh, we've got a few more steps before we get to the end goal here. And once you get the end goal uh, of, of this site completely up, then you can always come back and tweak things but the goal in this tutorial is to get you a professional wedding photography website up and running as soon as possible so you can get clients and get paid okay so let's get started first thing we're going to do is go under basic appearance and we're going to shift this to light now this is going to be a major change are you ready here we go one two three light all right <laughs> already starts to look like the uh, site we're going to be uh, using so that was that was an important click browser page title so I'm gonna go ahead so page title is what shows up see see on the page title here it starts to say Johnny Walker photography blah 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 uh, there's more info in there and here on your site if I was logged out it wouldn't say much I don't know what it says so this is where we do page title and if you hover over the question mark it tells you so this is what's the browser shown in the browser title and in bookmark so this is an important one so I'm going to go Johnny Walker Photography Shooting. Remember, this is my fake site, Weddings. Weddings in the oh, can't type in the Antarctic since 2002. Just to make it really fake, I don't even know if there's a wedding photographer in the Antarctic. You could be, uh, you could hold that market. I'm going to get rid of the period at the end there because that won't look good on the browser. So there we go. Favicon. Now this is the little image that shows up here. Uh, right now Smug Mug little smiley face is what shows up and we want to change that. We want to brand our site. So I'm going to go ahead and go choose image. And I'll probably uh, do a separate... Um, I'll probably do a separate tutorial on... Uh, I don't want that one. Stuff for tutorial. A separate tutorial on how to create a, a favicon, but for now, let's just assume you have one. So it's a little, um, it's a little image. It's only 16 kilobytes, um, and it's going to show up on the top there. So I'm going to go like that, and go upload. It should just take a second. There. Now this is a little bit buggy with Smug Mug. Um, once you get this, uh, once your image uploads, for some reason it shows up as this very thin thing. Now your image is there, so don't worry about it. But for some reason it shows up small. So click it and uh, and highlight it in red, and then go choose. And perfect. 
Now you can go ahead and save or publish, well save for later or publish, but I'm just going to keep going and see if I can get through all of these things in one go. Show smug mug header, which is this header up here. I don't want that. I'm going to get rid of it. There you go. Custom banner. Now I don't want a banner in my header. I want a banner in my footer. And the reason I do that is so that when I'm in a gallery, I don't want, I want my um, images to be what's called above the fold. So I want them to be on, uh, I don't want to have somebody scroll down to be able to see my images, which might happen if I've got a big header up there. So I put my header at the, or my, I put my banner in the footer so that um, I keep uh, as much of my image up top as possible. So I don't do custom banner here. Navigation bar, I am going to do a navigation bar. Now we don't have much to use just yet. We'll be filling it out, but, uh, um, but I'll do that. Uh, as we go in the tutorial. The first thing we can do is do a home page so that people can get back. It's going to be home page right there. And then if I want to do another, uh, so basically what we're doing with the nav bar, the navigation bar is creating this. Now we can do some of this right now. We're going to do a little bit, uh, some of it later as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click another one and let's do our client galleries. So I'm going to call it client galleries and it's going to be a category client. So when someone clicks on client galleries at the top, they're going to be pointed to this category page, which is perfect. And for font, I'm going to make this a little bit different. I'm going to choose moon space and I'm going to make them bigger. Actually, let's go, um, let's just go okay and see how that shows up. All right. Oh, it's not showing up because I haven't set the colors. So it's having a color of white. So I'm going to do a color and might as well go with the color we're going to end up using which is 2C, 2C, 2C so you got that 2C, 2C, 2C which is like a which is like a really dark color which is going to show up nice on the white and uh, I'm going to do a rollover color and we're going to do this as a really nice blue 1963AA okay so there's my nice blue and uh, I'm just going to go OK right now and show you what that looks like. So it's showing up over here on the left. So there's some things that we need to do. That doesn't look very good. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and go back to our, um, our nav bar builder. I'm going to go, so this is where I'm going to go moon space. And I'm going to go make it much bigger, 19 font. Uh, text decoration will leave as none, but I'm going to put these little separators here. I'm going to put a, a straight up and down bar. I think that's going to look good, but you can do other options here. And I'm going to center this on uh, my nav navigation bar on my page. Now when I click OK, now that's looking a lot like the one that we started over here. And I'm going to go, for some reason, this, um, this selection, oh, there we go. That's all I had to do. So. Sorry about that. I had that covering over. All I had to do is click the button and it would have disappeared. Uh, so if I want to make any changes in my navigation bar, I would just click that and, and make my changes and cancel or OK. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a couple of links later on once we do uh, a couple more steps in our tutorial. Custom size, I'm going to leave blank, and mainly because the, I don't have a banner selected, so I don't really need that. And then I think I'm going to do keep my background. I'm just going to go white. It's a wedding photography business that we've got going on here. White is good. If you want to change it later, you can change it uh, to a color. You can ch you can add a background image. You can do a couple of uh, templates that Smug Mug's already got for you, but I'm going for simple and clean and quick. So I'm going to use uh, no background. Under text, I am going to use some custom texts because uh, it's just one of those things that I like to change. Everything's going to be Arial except my titles. I'm going to make Courier just to change the look a bit. And I'm going to change some of these colors as well. So my body is going to be 434343, three, three, which is a nice light gray. And then my titles I'm going to keep as that nice blue, which is that default under the light um, for basic appearance. I really like that blue. Uh, for what are we on? This one's two five two five two five, which is going to be a little bit of a darker color, but not exactly black. Zero 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 across the board is black. Two four two four two four. All right. So there we've got our texts. Now I'm going to uh, pause the.
tutorial right now and check my time because I want to keep the, these tutorial videos under 10 minutes and uh, maybe I'll have to split this uh, this video up or this step up into two so I'll, I'll just press pause and come back in just a second